handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Ellis Park here on Monday. It is the 26th of August, 2024, closing day from Ellis, and we're going to look at the eighth race. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The eighth from Ellis, it's the Ellis Park turf. It's going for a purse of $150,000. Race for Phillies and Mayors, three year olds and upwards. Field of nine horses going 1,700 meters or a mile 16th on the turf course. Get out with a four horse quality star. 4528 for me in the Superfecta. 4528 Super. Top selection of four horse quality star. This five year old mare by Animal Kingdom. Paul Lobo trains. Brian Hernandez Jr. picks up the mount. The horse's most recent appearance came in optional 40 at Indiana, a mile on the 20th of June. And it was a near success. He finished second by four and a half lengths, and he gained a lot of ground that day. He sat back early into a very slow pace for turf but he closed up well into it. He just missed. Ran his heart out that day. Gets a better poster here today. Should see a strong pace to close up into. And I think this horse could get the job done. He ran two back at Churchill on the 19th of May. A mile and optional 80 on the turf course. For, with a very wide trip, he finished six by five and a quarter lengths that day. He moved a little bit late, but... From where he was drawn 10 of 10 with a mile trip, he needed a better post draw. Again, raced before at Keeneland. A mile on the turf and allowance race for 100,000. Uh, Ring from 11 to 11. He finished fifth by one and a half lengths that day. He was wide and he just was flat also that day. Maybe he needed the race. It was his first race since the 7th of December last year. That was a mile and a quarter on the turf at, uh, on the, on the Tapita Turfway where he finished fourth by seven and a quarter lengths where again, he just never really got going. But his races in the past here at Ellis haven't been half bad. He had a very nice place quite a few seasons ago on this turf course. His races last fall weren't bad at all. Coming here today up in class, he could win. The five horse heavenly Sunday for, for Florent Giroux and Brad Cox wouldn't surprise me if this steals it on the front end, nearly stole it on the front end, three back in the Modesty at Churchill Derby weekend, where he finished fourth by one quarter lengths, getting caught at the top of the lane. Prior to them, the Mint Jewel, he had a decent place where, again, he just kind of couldn't quicken up late, but he ran his heart out, and then the Anchorage before that had a decent race. Came back to run on the Tempen Stakes here in the uh, summer of 2023, quite nice, we're at a very nice place. Refreshing here, he can win, I would use him on the ticket, even the two horse take a stand for De La Cruz. The most recent dirt efforts haven't been half bad, the horse hasn't been on the grass since the Mrs. Revere of 2022, but she had a very nice third place finish that day. Back to the green stuff. I'll give her a shot in this, a shot in this very wide open feature. But to recount my selection for the eighth now from Ellis, it's the Ellis Park Turf. Going to take the four horse quality star. Give kudos to the five horse Heavenly Sunday and the uh, two horse take a stand. Five. 4528 Super 452 in the multi race. So good luck to him. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everyone.